All right, boys and girls, who here is ready for the long-awaited sequel to Kerbal Space Program, but this time with Ray Muin Gang? <laughs> I had to, since we're going to space. I hope so. Man, you are not going to believe what you see. Probably not. And I imagine, okay, if it's anything like going to the moon in Majora's Mask, where it's actually a giant, like, open forest sky area, then this is going to be fun very funny. You remember all those rumors, uh, read lies from ruby sapphire and emerald that's like if you beat the league enough times like 110 times or something <laughs> th uh, then you can go to the moss Deep space center and you'll uh, be able to ride the rocket and go to the moon and fight jirachi or deoxys yes i remember a shit about that a long time ago i love those uh playground rumors god you know what would be even, what's even more annoying is that those would actually be more reliable than the fucking exclusive like uh, GameStop releases where you can download the codes and events. I hate those times so much. Hey, what's up, boys? Bob and Brand back with more Toho uh, New World. Once again, I should say for YouTube, it's been no time at all since between recording postings, maybe besides like a week beforehand. But for us, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, the reason for that is because I went to a uh, office hall, a uh, Halloween party, and got sick. And then I tried to keep it away from him, but then Brandon got sick. And then we just ended up taking a couple weeks off. I barely had enough energy to record secret project game oh if, yeah you haven't if, mentioned if, it yet. if not secret project i posted by now uh devil may cry one <laughs> i don't know if it's been posted <laughs> by now i'm not keeping track of this shit you can unlock sonic and tails and man but being 100 people are cool <laughs> Hell yeah. uh just just donkey kong in the corner and spit and abuse down me absolutely that works better than you think it does but hey some of those ended up being real like if you like, you can actually glitch to be able to control Master Hand in Melee. Yeah, the, um, what was it? The, the name entry glitch, right? Yeah. Weird shit that you can do with that. And, uh, your other classics, like, uh, if you do this or that, you could unlock Goku. <laughs> I want to be Goku. You know, someone is actually making a mod to play as a decent Goku in, uh, Smash Ultimate right now. And it's actually looking pretty decent. No, oh, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got real mods now for those things. Yeah. No one ever bothered doing that for Smash 4. It was just Brawl up until uh, Ultimate. Yeah, the reason I don't think just because of, like, I don't know. Well, then again, Smash 4 also had a very short job life. But also, Smash Ultimate, like... It lasted four years. That's nothing compared to Ultimate right now, which is on, like, year five, one on six. Right, but Brawl also only had four years. You wouldn't think so. 2008 to 2000... Oh, no, wait, no, I'm sorry. Brawl had six years. Yeah, 2008 also, to 2014. Also, it was way easier to mod the Wii than the... Well, I mean, the Wii is still easier to mod, but I think it was hard to get the file access. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big Lucario. Yeah, right. All right, so feed, walk us through what's going on right now. Are we going to another side mission? Uh, this is a, ma uh, a main quest. Uh, we're in the final phase of uh, getting uh, all the materials we need in order to prep the rocket. Yeah, and we were... Um... Oh, shit. Okay, you have the uh, H uh, yeah. color space at the limiter, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. For since uh, the let's play started going up this past uh, like two weeks ago again. Oh we, yeah, I've actually gotten to see that now. Jesus Christ! It was only in like the room where you talked uh, the library room, and I think just think it's because like the huge like hugely saturated pinks. I've never seen the Elgato do that before until I saw that. Me neither. It, it certainly didn't do that the first game. Yeah, I mean it's not. Mm, I mean, like you said before, like the Toho games are more so for you, but I do think it's a really cute series, so it's not that big a deal to post it. But like, man, it, well, I'm glad we it, it was uh, dealt with at the front, so we have to worry about it later on. But goddamn, for something like that, though, if I was handling that, I think I would have just put in a picture or something instead of it constantly going to gray. I was thinking about it, but I was also editing that under a heavy time crunch too. Yeah, yeah, that was a very hectic week, needless to say. But also, I need to stop doing stuff on Sundays and just edit stuff. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. I need more time management. Anyway. Don't we all? So, do we already get the fuel, or are we getting the fuel right now? I feel like we're getting the fuel right now. Uh, they have a couple of different fuel sources. Yeah. Uh, we have one of them. We have the we we have uh, Crow Tit. Awesome. Oh, did we actually recruit her? Yeah, we already have her. I don't remember if she agreed to um, be the fuel source yet, but I'm pretty sure she'll just bleed the energy anyway. I don't know what we're trying to do right now, though. I remember that Pachuli sent us out to do something. Uh, we're gathering the occult orbs, I think, I believe. That might... Also, f fucking shout out to the occult orb for making the Elgato freak out as well. That was so weird. Just paranoid. Yeah, right? No. It's pretty consistent when it comes up. 
<clears throat> I'm fully confident. It's all okay. So here's a here's perspective. It's literally only done that with this game so far. When I was recording Devil May Cry One, it never did that. I mean, obviously it's a dark game, but granted, yeah. when you consider that that yeah, I that game has the opposite problem. Th that isolates the issue to it's just a color spectrum thing, like light intakes and stuff. So if we have that information, I think we're pretty much fine. Trying to think of what other games we could do that would trip that. Something very bright and colorful. I mean, Storm, actually? Maybe. Th they're... Okay, maybe more Storm 1. Storm... Something that gets very close to the white end of the color spectrum. Yeah, I, so... Very, very bright. If you saturate the... Reds, oranges, whites. If you saturate the fuck out of screen, the Shunya exam uh, final arena, it gets very green. Like, disgustingly yeah. so. Um... The, the beach area, uh, too, the, during the war. The lookout tower. Dur uh, Orochimaru fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, um, where that's, like, entirely orange. Yeah, basically. Fuck. Also, the purple's in the sky, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would probably trip it pretty hard. Again, guys, uh, this is still a fairly new-ish technology. Oh, I mean, new-ish. We've been we've been using Elgato since, like, 20 fucking 12, 2013. The specific versions we're using. So, if, if we've never made that clear, uh, we're currently using... The Elgato 4K60 Pro Mark II, <laughs> which came out in 2020, I think. Maybe. What, what separates this from the past ones of use is that past Elgato's we've used have always been external devices uh, feeding straight through USB-C. This guy, however, is going straight into my motherboard uh, using one of the videos video card slots. Unfortunately, that means that unfortunately I cannot uh, dual wield um, uh, graphics cards. Not got the butt to do that anyway. But you're not going to be running SLI. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking rogging this bitch. No way. <laughs> was it called a rog? Am I? No. Republic no. of Gamers is a brand. No. It was, yeah, you're right. It was um, something else. Although I do like I do like their handheld. No, it was um something that involves like a server rack. I forgot what it's called. Raid, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get a raid up or anything. I mean, it wasn't going to anyway. Your your computer case is way bigger than mine. I don't know if you know that actually. Is it that bigger in size? I went with the regular ATX. Not with the outside dimensions. Inside, I don't know if mine can fit a triple wide graphics card inside of it. I really don't. Is mine a triple? Yeah, yours has three fans on it. Huh. Isn't yours the yours isn't the forty ninety? I think it's like the no, four, no, God, forty no, seventy. I think. Yeah, mine's a forty seventy. If it was a forty ninety, that would have been the entire budget of the computer by itself. <laughs> and then some. Because you've heard those the forty ninety is something like eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. The forty seventy I got I think was five hundred. I won't lie. I've been occasionally meditating on how to upgrade from my thirty fifty to something else in the in the future. Not immediately. I've come to accept I'm going to be stuck with these computer specs for like the next 10 years or something shit like that. But that being said, I'm like, could I fit a triple wide? I don't know. Could I afford a 4090? Absolutely the fuck not. No. At this point, I'm going to be getting hand-me-downs from my kids. Those will be, there'll be hand-me-ups because I'm so <laughs> fucking poor for my student loans. Uh... 40, uh, 60 or 70 will probably do you plenty. Probably. Is there, is there a 4050 consumer model yet? I don't believe so, at least not that I've heard of. That would be very nice, because I usually stick to the 50 miles anyway, just for consumer-grade stuff, and I think pretty good balance of a power consumption. I think their low-end uh, currently is uh, the 60 model. Maybe. I'm going to wait for the TI model, which is usually like what I stick to. You can generally rely on 60s, though. I remember the last laptop I had... Uh, not the current one, had uh, a 1660 Ti in there, and that thing was uh, stunning for uh, for a laptop. Yeah, yours was pretty good, right? And the one I currently still have had apparently the equi uh, the AMD equivalent of a 3070. <laughs> Damn, yeah. But that's also a mobile chipset, so it's not quite the same performance output. Yeah. We got fucking landmines now. I think we had those before, too. I don't think we did. I feel like this is a new thing. The fucking ah. Kappa's just incorporating World War II tech now. Damn it, we're gonna have to constantly do sweet to again, Tokyo, for these things, and, like, even a hundred years from now, you can't go for a walk to, uh, around Great Britain, I mean Germany, I mean uh, again, Tokyo, without <laughs> worrying about tripping one. That's a real thing, by the way, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna love someday showing you FMA and you being like, wait, what do you mean this uh, fantasy 1915 con uh, European country is supposed to be Germany? 
What do you mean that this, uh, that this is supposed to lead into World War One? Directly? God fucking damn, that's crazy. The original version of uh, the anime that has its own original ending. In the movie follow-up for that, they uh, they go to another world that is literally just like 1918 Germany. Huh. Okay then. Well, I hope they're looking forward to the severe economic downturn when Germany goes a- goes on after uh, World War One and the uh, ramifications uh, to follow from that. <laughs> Seriously, I- Germany was fucked after World War One. Oh my god. I think the movie even has Hitler in it. Like you see the whatever the society that he formed was before uh, becoming the president. Yeah, if it gets wild, it, it looks like it. I have. Okay, I think you show me. No, Taylor showed me the first episode of Brotherhood. My dad owned the first six episodes of the original show release when they released as singles from Funimation back in like '03, I think. True story. So the first episode of Brotherhood is weird because it's not a, actually a first episode it's more in line with like an ova where it's like oh we haven't had anything new in a while just have it just release an episode where every where all your fan favorite characters get to participate in some sort of a fight ah okay now the neat thing is even though that episode is non-canon they actually do explicitly call back to it later and they and the character they end up fighting is referenced by name hmm. in the canon bits so they actually make make sure that that wasn't completely worthless. Yes, you do see Hitler. Wow, that's fucking wild, man. Yeah, because it's like they they talk about how uh, he got the funding to start uh, the SS. In <sighs> wow. The, in the movie version specifically. Huh. That's actually kind of nuts. Holy crap. Yeah, it's uh. So, do you want to make the jokes about all the people who support Vic Mignogna after that, or sh- or should we just leave it at that? The irony is not lost on me. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. I just find it to be very, very funny. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, no, that's gonna be a future watch for sure. I think in a more immediate term, though, there's a couple other longer anime I do want to watch. Um, can Bailey or anyone else who's here do me a quick favor and look up who in the PSP version, I think it is, of Persona 2, they got to play Führer? Because something <laughs> about the uh, Persona 2 version of Hitler just sort of screams Richard F. Carr to me. <laughs> okay, to be absolutely fair. Not like, because of that, and that would have happened years before. No, no, no. I don't know what that would be, but okay. Um, no, I was just thinking about the... Gla- the, the gl- oh, you ha right. No, I was just thinking about the glasses. And, and yeah. just actually... Like, just slapping a pair of sunglasses is the most evil dude you know. And it's just kind of uh, a little bit unintentionally funny. It literally be David Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny for a different reason. <laughs> But uh, you put a glasses on him, and it just reads of Daniel the Cooler Daniel. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I actually fucking <laughs> love this entry for that. How's the stream going? Oh, it's going good so far. Uh, we're off to a fairly decent start. Having fun. Talking about whatever, since there's not much really going on in this game, minute to minute. I would love to get into the deep nitty gritty of Toho's uh, world as a collective, but unfortunately, I still have not had that much. Okay, I've been trying to read manga this week. I have not had a chance to barely even fucking do that what are you trying to read ghost in the shell the oh, original yeah. manga yeah, yeah, yeah i posted yeah. screencast of that it's a dry read and it, it it disappoints because i'm trying to enjoy it hey you're back and it's like and it, looking more adorable than ever yeah like, she's so bubbly it's cute uh it's unfortunate because it's just like carrying an orb the size of a human head actually bigger than her head when you look at it holy fuck oddly specific <laughs> oh no she mentioned that by words okay <laughs> You must be the serial killer I've heard about. Oh, yeah, we mentioned that before. (laughs) Doesn't even deny it. (laughs) You've heard of me. The Hmm. the serial killer? Okay. She's found my next victim. Oh, she's totally fucking with us. I I love how love, (laughs) like, blood feuds in this series just pop because of misunderstanding sometimes. Great stuff. (laughs) I forget that I have this so often. Oh, the, yeah, the weird witch time parry, yeah. That does seem like it'd be really useful, but, like, if, I feel like if you're already good at dodging the uh, patterns, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I think hiding behind the red orbs might be the... Or saying in front of them might be the way to go for that one. This is one of those things where it's like, I know what to do, but I need to get back into the groove to get the pattern. Yeah, it has been a couple weeks. We've been busy with things. Yeah. <laughs> I got the Platinum Trophy for Elden Ring, and now I'm playing Ace Combat 7. You were playing, you were playing uh, Spider-Man 2 for a bit there. Uh, yeah, I, fit. I 100% of that game, I didn't get the Platinum, because those are two different things. Yeah, generally. 
But yeah, uh, since the last recording, Spider-Man 2 has come out and been absolutely delightful. Ho heartily recommended, even at a full price $70. It's one of the... It's the only game I've played thus far that I think warrants that price. Oh, I, yeah, I thought you just said hardly, hardly warranted. Hardly. Oh, hardly. I thought you said hardly. I love English sometimes, but yeah, I do see where you're coming from with that. Read, red, red. Yep. I think that's got yeah. a shot at Game of the Year. I think it's, it's probably one of the top contenders alongside, like, fuck it. Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, and uh, the other one is Mario Wonder. From what I've been hearing, apparently a lot of, like, players are just kind of more, not apathetic, but, like, they, they a lot of them acknowledge it's really just an expansion of Tears of the Kingdom 1. So I'm not Breath sure. The wild? Yeah, uh, yeah, Tears of the Kingdom. No, like, people love uh, Tears of the Kingdom. It's done immaculately well for itself. Yeah, I'm just and not people, sure. People are loving how it's an expansion of that, how it is actually fully realizing the gameplay loop. Yeah, there's just a lot of people who have played it who are thinking that it might not have the best shot at it since it's a lot. Damn it. Oh, fuck, it at the damage. Uh, since a lot of people apparently that are just like, yeah, it's definitely a bit more of like uh a bit of like just a straight up like DLC expansion pack for, for Breath of the Wild. It sure is a direct sequel to a game that would, uh, for that reason, take place in the same. You know what I hate? I think we've discussed this before. Is people that are like, oh, you're lazy. You're doing asset reuse because you've made a direct sequel to a game that would, for that reason, take place in the same world. But you people are fucking stupid. Oh, I've heard. There, this is apparently a thing also among Zelda players too. So I'm not sure. No, I just mean in general. Like, this yeah. is something I hear a lot. Like, um, yeah, Final Fantasy X-2, Tales of Zillia 2, that sort of thing. Anytime you make a sequel that takes place in uh, the same world. It's like, people are just fucking stupid. People have forgotten what sequels are? Yeah, <laughs> it's funny considering how often sequels do come out anyway. I think the ones that have the best shot at Game of the Year are probably currently, um... Amazing Spider-Man 2. Amazing Spider-Man <laughs> 2. Um... That is a real game. Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. Um, I... I well, they've actually, if you want to look it up, they've actually released the, uh, the list. Yeah, I know. That's the ones I'm, I'm talking off the top of my head. For some reason, RE4 got into the contender list. I'm like, because, because I, I the love... Remake it the remake is on sale right now for forty dollars if you want it. I don't think about that. Uh, no, because it, apparently it, it, the remake is just that good, and it's still getting perfect tens. I I like it. I I want to play it, but like RE4 did come out like nearly twenty years ago, and it's apparently like faithful to a fault with the game. I think it's it might have a good shot, but I wouldn't put money on it. The game is a great game. It's just people. But the thing people have a gripe with is that they don't like more Zelda mechanics. Yeah, it it, More. Uh, it brings in a lot of actual Zelda qualities that the original just didn't have because Breath of the Wild is not a, is a Zelda game in name only. Oh, so you want to jump late with, with that pattern. And now that you actually do have recognizable uh, Zelda staples, enemies, and characters, it's like, oh, but this isn't a real Zelda. Which apparently people just didn't notice the last time. Uh, okay, strange. Capture Guard, how are you holding this one? Okay, you're doing fine. <laughs> Out of check. I love how it's literally just like a JPEG of a moon in the middle of that, by the way. Yeah. Am I crazy, or did the text box change shape? I don't remember it having that gray spot oh, on the right. yeah, you're right. Oh, wait, no, it's a cut off of her PNG. Hang on. What are you doing? Did it get updated? No, no, it's not an updated game. If you look closely, that's her... That's Yomu Sprite. Oh. Uh, look at the ghost. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, behind her right oh, yeah, shoulder, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fuck me, then. So people want Tears of the Kingdom to be less Zelda-ish. I don't know if that's the wording. I think it's more so that it's... I, I think I hear that people are saying it's like it's too one-to-one -one, like the original game. Again, I can't say for sure. This is just what I'm hearing secondhand through YouTubers. Who are se who are hearing what they've been hearing from people on Twitter. Also, Hi-Fi Rush got robbed. Oh, you, yeah, yeah. You played it. I, I want to play it. It looks like oh, a I thought you bought it. No, no, no. Um, well, first of all, Microsoft exclusive. And second, I have had Steam. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Good. Well, so you I, own I, an Xbox. I do own an Xbox. Just haven't had a chance to get on it yet. No, I've been three Xboxes. Uh, do I? Original Xbox 360, Xbox One X. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're yeah, right. Yeah, that's huh? three. Yeah, that is three, isn't it? I think the next uh, game they should give Link a mecha. Bailey, you can yes. Bailey, you can build a mecha. Yes. I on five. Also, yeah, as much as I, as much as it looks cool and I do want to play it, I, I don't think Armor Core Six would win it. Um, was there it, something about Armor Core? 
Uh, no, Armored Core, or Armored Core 6 wasn't up for Game of the Year, but it is up for uh, Action Adventure, I think. And I think in that category, he's got a good shot. No, but if you've seen all the... He's talking about uh, they should give Link a mecha, and it's like, you can build that with all the <laughs> shit in Tears of the Kingdom. You've surely seen the, uh, the videos and the gifts of uh, the walking dick robot. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Omar, I don't want to necessarily talk... Uh, talk and ignore your chain of thought right now but i do want to say this really funny thing that i don't okay no one here is going to know about this because i have some i have some very autistic friends who are telling me about this not you um <laughs> <laughs> no i didn't mean that to clarify as a jab no um some of my friends are saying that on 4chan the, autism the, is a term of endearment nowadays <laughs> right it's it literally me for real for real no, um, the for, the video game board on 4chan uh, slash V is going to be having their they, they have their own video game of the year awards, and last year Elden Ring won everything in a fucking landslide. And it's like, ah, yes, you fucking autists would would do that, wouldn't you? Yeah, that tracks. But this year, I'm like, I as soon as my friend told me about this in a group chat, I'm like, don't you're gonna in before Armored Core Six sweep? Come on, I already know it's gonna happen. Yeah, anything with a FromSoft name. So basically, uh, Especially those guys. after we just took uh, the occult orb from Yomo, she's like, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about it, but my master does. She was setting me up to collect them. If you go, if you talk to her, she'll probably be able to answer your questions. And Rainbow's like, well, I've been to hell. I've been to heaven. I guess we're going to limbo now. <laughs> and everything in between. Where the hell is it? Ladies and gentlemen, another stuff. Oh yeah, speaking of, yeah, uh, Yu, Yu Yu Hakusho is going to be a New Year uh, anime goal for, of mine for long form anime to watch. Oh yeah, going to be seeing that the first for the first time in 20 years is going to be wild. I'm glad I got that Blu-ray. I just wish uh, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk got nominated for a music or indie game. There's like a weird thing with the indie game selections, isn't there? Like IGN brought it up. Apparently, they go with literally whatever is the the name that anyone would have heard of outside of the AAA sphere, and only go with those. Yeah. So apparently, one of the indie games that an IGN brought this up weirdly. Oh yeah, enough. one of them actually has a publisher. Yeah, one of them has backing from a publisher. So now people are like, well, what exactly qualifies as, as an indie game again? And I'm just like, boy, uh, Jeff Keighley, Dorito Pope, maybe you um, should have revised this list a little bit more because. I feel like there's been more than a few good indie games this year, hasn't there? I, I, I'm not thinking of any off the top of my head. I mean, oh, uh, Pizza Tower, obviously. But not much else beyond that, personally speaking. I mean, yeah, that's... Okay, I, to be fair, I did just drop, like, what, four days ago? Wednesday. It's fair. Well, I mean... Well, it, I mean, I, if, I'm if, if no, 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 I was gonna say if last year if God of War Ragnarok could be a serious contender for Game of the Year alongside Elden Ring, I, 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 I can't be too upset. By the way, having played both games and loving both of them a bits, I think they both should have just been co uh, winner, uh, winner of the game that year. Wait, winner of the game, winner of Game of the Year that year. Personally speaking, play I, of the game, play, <laughs> play of the game. <laughs> Genuinely though, I, I think they both deserve it. It's they're fucking great in the own right. Elden Ring for gameplay and uh, uh, scope, God of War for cin cinem cinematic uh, cutscenes and uh, also story cutscenes. So the Vampire Survivor. Uh, Vampire Savior got a game this year. Vampire Survivor is uh, you know that uh, Pixel game you've occasionally seen me play for like two hours on end on my computer sometimes. Uh, I thought it was a Toho game. There are many clones of it. One of them is a Toho clone. One of them <laughs> is uh, a Hololive clone. Uh, oh my clones, god. There are clones of the game Vampire Survivor, and that actually came out last year, but a bunch of clones of it came out this year. The uh, If I had to pick more than just one, I guess I would give it to Hollow Cure Save the Fans, the Hololive VTuber uh, version of that game. It's... Uh, Pretty fun and engaging. If he's not eyes and last boss of that game, we'd be fucking pissed. He's not as a different uh, organ. Uh, I know, I know. Which I guess. <laughs> how many times do I want to keep pu uh, pulling back to the menu? <laughs> I was gonna say I had, a, <laughs> I, had a, I had a I had a funny bit. Don't make me take your internet away, young man. <laughs> okay, fuck it. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. Where are we going? VR. Holy fuck. The Kizuna Eye Beat Saber game. Interesting. I played it. It's pretty fun. I don't doubt it. I just didn't know this came out this year. Holy crap. 
Or that this even existed. I know. Apparently it's better than actual Beat Saber because real Beat Saber, from what I've told, is trash if, you, if you're not playing it on PC and thus have access to modern your own music because the default music sucks and the tracks are bad. Uh, that really just sounds like this old, um, Steam game that is basically just that. Audio Surf? Audio Surf, thank you, yeah. Oh, Audio Surf is the classic. Yeah, that's the, that is the old one, but before, um, uh, Guitar Hero Custom, sorry, uh, gang stuff. Now, and now it's just called Clone Hero. And who could forget about Osu? I did. <laughs> Do you know what Osu is? I know exactly what Osu is. <laughs> but yeah, there's also a Toho, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Vampire Survivor. It started out being incredibly basic and probably not worth the $5, but they've updated it recently and now it's worth the 3 or $4 that, uh, that it was originally charged. Oh wow. So that's good. Barely anything, hell yeah. These are uh, indie pixel games that know that the actual end-to-end uh, -end content is a whopping 45 minutes of gameplay, so it stretches itself entirely on replay value because, yeah. it, because it's fun. So they're like, we know what we are and the actual amount of real content in the game, so we're going to charge appropriately. We're going to charge $5 or less. I appreciate that. I appreciate games where replay value is very high, like Metroid games and stuff, so that's cool. Also, Bob, Nikkei got a Vampire Survivor minigame in the current event right now. I I wouldn't know. I haven't had time with the game to pop, fuck around with the uh, reload um You've had plenty games. of time with Nikkei. Yeah. For the, for the thing we've been doing for the last two months, every single time. Yeah, well, well I haven't touched the fucking minigame. Like, I mean, usually the low times the game are so bad that I just find myself just focusing straight on gameplay. How old is your phone? Uh, it's 2020 Samsung, I think. I don't know the exact year. Hey, you, Yuko, what's up? You are a character I would expect to be a final boss. <laughs> I mean, she's harder than the final boss in some of the games, although she, although she is actually the final boss of her debut game. Yeah, fair. She said you want to, your servant said you wanted to see my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball Goku clip with showing the balls. Yep. Yep. God, it still hung up on the on uh, the music. They spelled her last name wrong. Saigyoji. Yeah, something feels off about that. It's supposed to have a U in it. Also, I'm realizing reading her name that I hate this font. It's not Comic Sans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The top one. Right, the name. Font. No, no, all of the font. Oh. Yeah, it's very bubbly. Yeah. I don't know it's, what font that exactly is. It's not a Sans font, but... I don't know, something about it I hate, especially when reading character names. It's very kid- it's very, like, kiddish, almost. Yeah. I mean, it's cute, but, like, yeah. So, Mario says the final boss? Oh, no. No, no we fought boss, her, like, twice already. We already fought her. We're gonna get to her story another time. Her story is the good one in this game. Uh, the final boss in this game will be beyond your comprehension. And you are gonna be struggling not to- uh, struggling to get off the floor when you see it. Okay. I'm very interested because Flandre was is not the final boss here, so you know her off to a good star already. Uh, she was the super boss. Uh, yeah, she was. Time. Yeah, yeah. She uh underneath the mansion. If you go visit her. Yeah. This is not the orb I seek. <laughs> do, do your does your orb seek the truth? You got some um, truth seeking orbs there. Do you ponder them? It's <laughs> pondering you. See, I was making an Arthur joke. You made a better joke. I know. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that was also one of the line reads that got fucked up in Connections. By the way, guys, how are you enjoying Connections and all the bullshit that happened? Also, the fact that the name might actually be a mistranslation. Uh, if anyone on YouTube is wondering, I have not tried Storm Connections yet. One, because, um, well, I have a life. And also, I haven't had time at all to do so. But also, I just don't have, I didn't have interest. But I'm hearing so much funny shit about it, and I do have to try it, actually. Fuck. Even ignoring the story, later on tonight mm. or something, you should actually try out the gameplay to see how it's changed. It is, it is meaningfully different, and you never really dipped your toes into 4 anyway, so you're basically leapfrogging two generations. I have streamed two hours of Storm 4 exactly one time, so yes. It's you been did, a while. but that was like five or six years ago. It was. I don't even know what house I was living in when I did that. That was a while ago. Mesa. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It, that that sounds about right. Yeah, I don't think you had any free time when you were in Phoenix. Before, no. Before Tempe. It was a very, very packed six or seven months there. I think that was when I was doing Files of College, from what it sounds like. Yeah. 
yeah, I, have, I didn't really have a lot of time to do shit, but yeah, eventually I'll get back into it. I'm just so burnt out in Naruto right now. I mean, how could you not be? Yeah. I, I've been thinking, I need to go back and watch the fucking anime to reinvigorate myself and find the, the joy I used to have with the series. Is Bob experiencing Naruto depression? Yes, absolutely, right now. It's kind of hard not to with the way Borges has been going. I could be talked into buying at least uh, the part one Blu-rays, since I think you only need like three or four of them to get all of the canon content in part one. Yeah. And that would be, that could be fun to go back and rewatch from the very beginning. At least just part one. Uh, I don't know about the very beginning of part one, but maybe. Well, no, you have to go back and see all, and see all no, the shit wait. that got retconned. No, I know exactly what I want to watch. Just the entire Tenji Bridge arc again. Absolutely. <laughs> that sounds like a fun fucking time, actually. Goddamn. The Sasuke shit. I got the wrong bridge. God damn it. I'm a fucking idiot. Great Naruto bridge arc. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Say, okay um, uh, to be honest, that arc is not very good. Yeah, and honestly, should not exist in the spot. That I'm, gl it does. I'm glad. I'm glad Kurt isn't in here right now because he probably <laughs> would have exploded right if I mentioned that because he does not like that arc at all. I don't think many people actually do. The arc is what like a day and a half, and it sucks, See, and it doesn't even really have a climax. I don't hate it that much. My issue, my issue more with it is that it's like after the Four Tales thing, it's just a nothing arc. Now that, I'm back in my groove. Hell yeah, we we back. We, we are so back. Uh, I'm so glad that as the uh, Storm Connection came out, as my feeds are filled with, look how broken new Sasuke is. Oh, you mean a teleport thing? Oh, well, I don't even see how that people would think that's broken. Because it's like, I'm just like, you can just sub out of this. You guys know that, right? I don't know. There, I remember Alex was posting a while ago, like someone, I think it was PS360 HD2, guy hit saying his name. Yeah. Um, Like back, way back in the Dude, day. update your name. It's PlayStation 4, Xbox One. <laughs> I was going to say one generation behind. My brand. Any, anyway, um, he PS5 was playing... PS5 Series X here. He, he was playing um, a pre-release of it, like, in some event, because, go figure, I think he's French. <laughs> um, and they were, like, gawking at this one bit of new move Sasuke, a version of Sasuke had, where I think he teleports or something, or does it, like, an unblockable move. I was like, you guys know you can sub the right? That's the whole point of the mechanic, maybe? I don't know exactly what it was. It's been a good while since I've seen it, but I'm... Broken Shin and Naruto usually, uh, Storm usually comes down to high damage, good neutral, inescapable combos because they're so short, like um, Samurai Dude and Storm 3 and stuff. Mifune. Mifune, yeah. The assists before they nerf the hell out of your assists. Uh, yeah, that too. When, the, you have, the, when you had the, a melee combo assist that the, was unblockable. The crazy uh, projectiles that Dana had in Storm 2 before the uh, project uh, sub overhaul. No, it's that before the, they made before they gave five different characters it's the not projectile that, moveset. It's not that it's broken. It, it that people have been so desperate for Naruto content that they're using the quickest thing to grab attention. I see the quick play, the clickbait culture awesome but they have strikers right over there and it's going on it's like <laughs> sev it's going on it's like seventh season pass i'm not even kidding i'm so happy for the 15 people who play the game i'm so happy for them <laughs> meanwhile here i oh no you oh never i even booted that game you didn't even know what that captured the flag game even is oh no i never played gundam which it's not over yet, is oh it? Oh my! I hope it. I fucking Google hope. It. I hope to God it's not. Jesus Christ! I, that's something we might have to do. I've been like what tomorrow or something? Fucking tonight. Yeah. Uh. Gun of evolution. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, please still be alive. Twenty ninth. Oh, thank God. We, so we still got. We uh, still got like a week and a half. Yeah. I don't have to do Woo! something with that. <laughs> Gonna have to. Uh, oh my god, yeah. Fast track that. Yeah, because. Okay, let me. Okay, I could talk about this. No no one on YouTube's watching this. I can spoil whatever the fuck I want to. <laughs> Perfect stuff. Anyway, um, it's probably kind of sour, boys. Hang on a sec. This stage is annoying. This is gonna last 20 minutes. We are in a labyrinth. Not a maze, a labyrinth. That means we're gonna get turned around a lot. Uh, old labyrinth trick, hug the left wall. But, oh wow, yeah, no kidding. Uh, I like labyrinths, but this might not be the, one of the better ones. All right, well, let me just go ahead and share this thing with you right now, guys. So, you can attack trees. 
actually for all i know this might be happening by the time this goes up i don't think it will be though anyway so you should be following me on twitch youtube why should you be doing that because bob is currently doing looking to research to doing the next let's play for a ghost in the shell game now that might sound very uh mundane if you weren't watching my uh ghost in the shell playthroughs before trust me i know the psb game was a little bit dry but what makes this particularly interesting is because i've been doing research and i came across that portal sent us back to the start oh boy it's one of those Ugh. the mist it is both the mist area of dmc1 and the mist forest from dmc4 yay <laughs> but my gripe with tenchi bridge arc is that it's meant to be an arc to show how weak naruto is but then i ask what was the point of the training arc of previous arc that is that's i think it's more of a shortcoming of the overall structure but anyway um back again. so yep so for Ghost in the Shell, I was doing a little, little, little bit of uh, research. There's not a lot of games out for this series, unfortunately. So one of the things I came across was the fact that there was the uh, Ghost in the Shell first assault. Yeah, it was standalone complex super first assault. Very good mouthful. Um, and that's always been in my Steam play, uh, Steam library. I'm not kidding. I'm just like, huh, this game still alive? Looked up at Google while I'm at work because I'm not doing anything else at work at the moment. I'm like, huh, this game lived from excuse me december what was the date it was like mid-december 2016 to early december 2017. so it didn't live a full year yeah and that's the cycle of these games it was basically like another capture the flag team-based uh overwatch kind of game you would not believe that i know right so what makes this particularly funny well first of all it, it made me realize that if once I'm done with the PS1 game that I'm currently doing research into, I'm going to be, I will have done every single Let's uh, game yes, for, for, I've done that one. Right, you did that like nine years ago or uh, something. <laughs> I did that two years ago. Oh no, you bought it nine years ago. That's I what it was. I did. Oh my God. Make, make me feel fucking ancient, why don't you? <laughs> no, that's fair. Um, that was I, did a, I did one stream of it nine years ago and I didn't. And that never saw a lie a day because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Anyway, that was old, old Phoenix house. That old, old Phoenix. That might have been the apartment, actually. Yeah. Anyway, um, so for the PS1 game, um, once I've done that game, I'll have done Let's Plays for every single Ghost in the Shell game. And then I could be like, wow, I didn't think I could consider myself a Ghost in the Shell expert in that regard. Holy crap. <laughs> and I also had, I was like, okay, let me do research into this last uh, first assault uh, game. What the hell is going on with this? I look up the trailer and I met with radioactive by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> I'm like, oh my, it's for a gameplay trailer for for the game. I was like, wow. So what you're saying is if the game is dead, they breathed in the apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just like, wow, I don't feel bad this game died anymore, Christ. But also that just makes me realize that I can never show off that game. So once I've done the PS1 game, I'll have done literally every single Ghost in the Shell game that exists. I'm like, holy crap, that is wild. That being said, though, I did see on Reddit there are some private servers being run by people to kind of keep playing the game. But I'm just like, do I care that much? I mean, I'm having, I haven't even done that for Rusty Hearts yet because I've been too lazy. I'm not going to do it for fucking First Assault. God, no. No, you need to do it by modding your PS3 so you can play Metal Gear Solid 4 Metal Gear Online 2. Uh, man, don't, that that would be a fun experience though. But um, I'm sorry, modding your PS2 so you can play Metal Gear no. Solid 3 Snake Eater Metal Gear Online One. <laughs> yes, really, it goes back that far. My God, okay. See, I thought we we're just making a joke about uh, Metal Gear Online Three. I guess not. That's from Phantom Pan, which is actually still live. Wait, what? Really? I thought yeah. this is off of Four. Uh, uh, Two was Four. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I thought the one for five was just survive. No, there's an actual online uh, shooter versus campaign in uh, five. Huh. Okay. I mean, I know, I know about invading other people's bases to steal nukes, but I don't know about that. Interesting. They made a big deal about uh, various updates to the game over the months about how this is the uh, the only place that you can play as uh, Ocelot or as Quiet yourself. Oh, fuck. That actually does. Oh my god, I do you remember the shit about that? Wow, okay. <clears throat> also, shout outs to the fact that um, people managed to trip the cutscene for having deactivated all the nukes, but apparently that is impossible because Konami set, deliberately set up a bunch of nukes on their server to never be able to be deactivated. So, as a result, someone cheated in order to force that, but that's totally uh, morally correct because of the shit Konami pulled. Yeah, the 40 Fuck Phantom em. nukes. 
But you know what the but you know what the fuck uh, the fuck part is uh, screen. Oop. is that I someone must have done this on the fucking PS4 version because uh, at some point one day a year or two ago I booted up the PS4 version and it just triggers the cutscene automatically upon returning to Mother Base. Really? Yeah, I didn't do shit. Wow. It it just did it by <sighs> itself. It just huh? I guess all nukes deactivated. The PS4. Huh. Yeah, I guess someone I, I, I triggered the cutscene on PS4 somehow. Wow, that's odd because it was on the PS3. That's the first time people managed to trigger the cutscene and learn yeah, that, that there's. Was, that was what I heard, so I was confused as hell. How did that happen? Yeah, after every, people, they managed to pull off a PS3 and then realized that there's 40 that can literally never be deactivated. So I think someone hacked the servers to say fuck him. Also, is it the floor of this area foliage or is that skeletons? Uh, foliage. Okay, because of, of like the high contrast of the blacks, I'm like, that's not skeleton, is it? That'd be funny. That'd be kind of cool, but also uh, implies skeleton army, and that's uh, too spooky for me. <laughs> oh yeah, that Metal Gear's five story is crazy, like all behind the scenes stories for that game. Yeah, seriously, Jesus Christ. Five is such a fucking good game, but also so annoying at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Uh The multiplayer maps in there were all just, uh, cut up versions of uh regular areas Afghanistan. Like, like one of them is uh just straight up uh the oil field because that's one of the only maps that has verticality because you go up the ver uh the various uh stairs in that game yeah in that area and has the office that, you, that they can hide uh better weapons in tracks i'm thinking about the same one right the one alongside the uh mountainside uh the little town there I think uh, so. the the one the one in the oil field where when you oh uh, yeah where uh when you drain uh when you where you drain the swamp and you find all the corpses yeah yeah okay I was I was thought we were talking about Afghanistan for a second there oopsie brain fart that being said though I still love the the mountainside um little town there I think it's a really cool set piece that's just me yeah the uh, the mansion where you meet uh steel co talker oh I wasn't even thinking about that one I was thinking about uh actually still in Afghanistan that's that one's in Africa. Yeah, yeah, there are, uh, there are a couple of uh, cool areas there. There's there are. There are few and far between, but there are some that are really cool. Like, uh... Hey, the, I, I love five. I just hate trying to get to the final ending. Jesus Christ. Like, uh, the cave network that you have to traverse when you get the bumblebee. Shit, which one's that? Uh, it's the... The Davy Crockett. The grenade launcher. Oh my god, I'm blanking so hard. What the hell? How I should remember it's is one, that... It's uh, one of the bosses with the skulls. Okay, I, I, it's, I, it's one of the first major missions in Afghanistan. You get uh, the big rocket launcher that you have to wield over your shoulder. Yeah, and it's like you're stealing it from them so they can't use it against you. And like, there's someone that wants you to return it to them because it was stolen from them. But they're like, well, we have to use it right now. Otherwise, we are not getting out of here alive. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Also, hello, danger fat ass. <laughs> Makes playing with a dog mandatory. Okay, to be absolutely fair, I know everyone loves uh, min-maxing into quiet, and that's totally valid, but I fucking love D-Dog so much. It's really mission-dependent. B, okay, that's just most of my playstyle, though, because being able to sneak and, see, and automatically detecting enemies through walls is so powerful for a stealth game. Holy crap. I cannot live without Soliton Radar. I'm sorry. And then also, uh, once you've given up on stealth, just uh, going uh, D-Walker the whole way. <laughs> I, love, like, I love Tokyo drifting with D Walker though. It's like, well, I'm on replays because I'm just trying to get materials. Fuck it. You're being graded on your speed, not your actual stealth. Hell yeah. Some t you, ah, yes, but you see, you can't be detected if everyone's dead. <laughs> Although, to be absolutely fair, there's some funny. Someone made a bunch of videos a few years ago that show that goes into the mechanics of all the uh, parties you can bring with you, and D Walker's got a lot of funny niche options that can you be utilized for you know for all the stupid shit that people have been, have been able to mod into phantom pain i'm amazed that no one's even tried to mod the uh the battle gear at least as a skin over d walker battle gear uh the metal gear that uh huey is developing oh yeah yeah yeah. the shit. one that you can actually only send on uh away off yeah from peace walker right no 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 Wait, the, right? the new one that he's building you in phantom pain oh my god uh not zeke yeah, the, the battle gear is the one that's actually shaped like a tank. Yeah. Oh my God. I I didn't remember that whatsoever because Jesus Christ. Like, like, I remember like two thirds of the game, but then everything after that's a fucking blur to me. Even though I played the game literally just like in 2020. I played it before, obviously, but that was my, I've done like two runs of the game so far. 
It's okay, you don't need to worry about Huey. He, he's gonna drown in a pool after his son has sex with his new wife. <laughs> you can you can you can laugh, Kaz. We're all thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> I am based in red pill. You're all liberal, liberal cucks. Yeah. What the, the fuck is he even saying? Doesn't matter. He's gonna kill he's gonna drown himself after his son has sex with his new wife. You can laugh, Kaz. We're all thinking it. <laughs> I used to like quiet, but then I when I failed one sneak, she chose a person and starts a complete dog fight for me. Okay, to be fair, you don't have to- you can just tell her to fuck off and just, like, hide, and she'll be the one engaging him and not you. She makes for solid backup, too. She does. Um, she can act independently, whereas, but that being, uh, neither a uh, dog nor walker can. That being said, though, she is amazing for when you're trying to go into isolated areas, and also, she's yeah, kind of- like if it, you have to go, like, inside a building area. If you want to do- if you want to get completion bonuses for having not killed anyone, she is rough until you get at least- the you can, get the you can get a trank rifle. Yeah, you can, but that's not the first one you unlock. The first no, one you unlock isn't uh, silenced, so it's a, as a result, it kind of blows dick. And that's the problem with that, is that you have to level up their uh, your bond with them before you can get them better weapons. Yeah, and that takes fucking work. Yeah. D-Dog, great out of the gate. Fucking awesome. I love my boy. I love my son. Giving him the, qu uh, the quiet electro knife. Oh, it's so good. And just sending him into a group of guys. I mean, I wouldn't do that with him. Like, usually I'll just have him be my actual Soliton radar. That too, yeah. Like, like quiet, I have the person in my hand, do not shoot the person. God damn it, I need information. 